Good day, everyone. I'm Mr. Matthews, your geography teacher. I know you're all enthusiastic and ready to learn. Otherwise, why would you be here? I hope everyone's ready to learn something. This isn't English class, you know. That's enough for today. Good work. You paying attention? That's how it's done.
Hey, have you ever tried harassing the homeless? It's great fun. Hello. You know you should try the new Aquaberry vest. Very popular with the better class of students. Impressive! Watch it. Sir, Please. you have Could definitely you outstayed your way. Hello. You know you should try the new Aquaberry vest. Very popular with the better class of students. Goodbye, and thanks for shopping at Aquaberry. What have we here? How amusing! Look, there he is. I was wondering if you'd show up, Hopkins. Nice Aquaberry sweater. Trey Sheik. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You look a bit like my gardener at home. Yeah, so what? Yes, well, enough uh, about uh, gardeners yeah. or any domestic help. Listen, me and the champs were planning a little revenge hit on old Hat Trick. We don't like what he did to that old Soak Galloway. A chap could have a drink if he bloody hell wants to. So? <laughs> So, my friend, are you, as they say, in? Sure. Are you English? Well, no. I just speak this way because I'm very insecure. You see, my father is a self-made man, so I pretend to be old money, but in fact, I'm really nouveau riche. But less about me, dear boy. Listen, we're going to egg that old codger's house. Cool. Smashing! You go get some eggs and meet me and the chaps back at my house. Got the eggs, Hopkins? You bet. Then give them to me. Take them. Smashing. Now tell me, Hopkins, is it true you said I was inbred? No, because first cousins is legal, my friend. Legal. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and just because my elder brother doesn't have a chin and ended up in a lunatic asylum, it doesn't mean anything. Whatever, Tad. Your family is your business. Don't lie, Jimmy. You said Tad was probably a hermaphrodite with that much inbreeding. A hermaphro what? Don't act dumb. 
You said his mom was also legally his aunt, and that he probably had webbed toes. I don't. Well, just only on one foot. Tad, you're not gonna take that kind of crap from this scumbag, are you? You've... You... You've been rude about mommy! Let's get this, Papa! In You're getting my Nice work, Jimmy. <laughs> Thank you.
You're going back to the poorhouse. Hey, Beatrice, what's wrong? Two things. Firstly, my cold sores are totally acting up what? again. What? Ew, gross. Secondly, Mr. Hatrick saw me writing in my diary during class, and he took it and he locked it in his desk. And he says he's going to give it to the principal tomorrow. If anyone sees what's in there, I will just die. It's really personal. Yeah, well, nothing like having the whole school know your deepest secrets. Makes your teenage years go by in a flash. Yeah, well, you'll soon find out. Me? Why? In the diary, I talk a lot about you and me. What? There is no you and me. Yeah, yeah, there is. See, first you rescued my notes from Mandy, and then we fell in love, and oh, you brought me flowers, what? and wrote me poetry, and showed this kinder, sensitive side that soon the whole world is going to know about. We're like doomed lovers. Enough. OK. I'll get your book back. Then we can kiss. The cold sores aren't contagious once they start to scab over. Yes, I was a student at Bullworth before becoming the renowned brain surgeon that I am today. Might find a use for that. You, what is the meaning of this?
Yes, I did. And I didn't read it. Much. Much obliged. That was exactly as I expected. That was easy. Give me a hand. 